Good Thursday morning, second day of fall, and it still feels like summer around here. That's okay. But you know what? We are actually going to feel a little bit more like fall next week, South Florida style, because we're going to see lower humidity and enjoy those temperatures a little bit lower as well. In the meantime, though, as we take a view from our Miami camera, it's really calm and quiet and dry for now. Later on, another round of rain expected, so keep the umbrellas handy. There's a view from our Key West camera, also very tranquil mix of sun and clouds. Thanks to Deborah Gallagher for sharing that harvest moon here from Pembroke Pines. Really great shot. Mike Sand capturing the spectacular sunrise in Fort Lauderdale. Look at all the colors in the sky. That's one of my favorite things as we transition into the fall season is just the sunrises and the sunsets. I mean, look at this beautiful view courtesy of Sandra K. Booth in Lauderdale by the sea. So there it is. Is a front that's just teasing us. Mother Nature is giving us a little glimpse of what's to come. Hopefully, we're going to see more and more of these fronts settle eventually actually clear our state. But this one is going to hang out to the north for a while, at least for the next few days. But look at the 60s across the panhandle. A little jealous, huh? But you know what? Even here in South Florida, our temperatures this morning, not too bad. And in the mid to upper 70s, it's pretty comfortable out there. Here's a look at what's going on the tropics, heating up as we have a lot of action going on. Here are the remnants of of Peter, of course, not bothering anyone. And then we have now post tropical cyclone Rose out in the open waters of the central Atlantic forecast to just look to the north northeast, not a threat to land and a disturbance north of Rose in the northern Atlantic with the medium potential of development, which of course we don't have to worry about that. Going to closely monitor tropical depression 18 though. It is out in the central Atlantic close to 2000 miles east of the Leeward Islands moving to the west expected to become tropical storm Sam later today and then a hurricane as we head into the weekend. In fact, a major hurricane by early next week, possibly to the east of the Leeward Islands. Well, as we look at the models, you'll notice they're in agreement that this will continue to move west and west-northwest, but when will it take, if it will take that turn towards the northwest or head more towards or near the Lesser Antilles? That's a big question mark. There's a lot of uncertainty here, and this is the reason that I'll be keeping a close eye on it along with the rest of the weather team. For us today, some steamy sun to start and then highs climb to 89 and just like yesterday some afternoon storms will be developing although this model in particular is forecasting the chance for some showers across the keys and along the coast but the highest rain chance will be around midday into the afternoon for pickup time for students and parents heads up there for the evening rush as well for those of you when you're getting ready to head home tonight after work there is a chance for more of those storms that could turn strong with downpours and flooding and lightning and gusty winds for boaters wind southwest to southeast five to ten knots no advice tonight evening storms keep that in mind if you're headed to the Miami corporate run CBS 4 is a proud sponsor it kicks off at 6:45 p.m. and yes there is the potential for wet weather hopefully we don't have any lightning that would be the dangerous part and would prevent you from running out there but the moisture for the downpours and those afternoon storms sticks around through the weekend but then we are going to see some drier air with this early season front and by next week check out our temperatures hey we'll take it the upper 80s with less humidity 